Okay, today's movie is 2016's Arcadia. So, I was just on Tubi looking around, looking for sci-fi movies, and I ran across this. At first, based on the title, Arcadia, in the poster, the poster shows a building, like a futuristic with like red lights. I was like, and you know, it's kind of small on there. So I thought maybe it has something to do with video games or something. So I click on it, read the summary. No, it doesn't. It doesn't have anything to do with video games. But then I read the summary and I'm like, ah, oh, I know what this is. This is a rip off or a riff on Logan's Run. Logan's Run is one of my favorite movies. You know, in the movie, it's different in the book. But in the movie, when you turn 30, you got a little thing in your hand. It turns red and you have to turn yourself in. And there's a chance that maybe your life will get renewed. So that's what I thought this was. But I was actually not entirely right about this. There are similarities. So what is this about? Well, the Arcadia is in the future, the near future, a disease has came and it's killing off everybody. Hmm. And there are pills you can take that will keep you alive, but it won't cure you. There is a cure, but it's kind of nebulous. It's either really expensive or really hard to make. So only a few people get it. And they have a lottery to decide who gets the cure every year. And they also instituted a system where you can earn enough points to qualify to go to it. And to confirm, you will be assigned a handler. Handlers are members of Arcadia, and they will provide you with tasks that will earn you points. Earn enough points, and you'll get a new life in Arcadia. So our main character, he signs up for the points program. And basically, this is his final job. He's getting ready to have enough points to take him and his daughter into Arcadia. And all he has to do is take care of this job. And all he has to do is make sure this guy stays alive. Hey, buddy, got another job for you. It's a quick one. What is it? Sure one. Target, he's a 37-year-old male. He's a level one primary target. We just need you to babysit him. Wow, you're really close with your points total. If you lucky turns in this job, could be it. Open doors, buddy. From there, of course, there are uh, hijinks ensue. Not really hijinks, but complications ensue because other people want to kill the guy he's in charge of keeping alive. So, first thing you gotta know, well, maybe the second thing, is that this movie is really low budget. Um, there's only a few sets. There's only maybe like five or six people that have speaking parts. And despite that, it kind of works. There's a lot of talking heads. There's a little bit of action, but not much. It's mostly talking about the system. Is the system rigged or not? Um, is there actually a cure? Is the guy that he's being protected... Is he crazy or is he on to something? Are the people trying to kill him? Are they sort of terrorists or do they have a point? And I actually ended up liking it. It, it was pretty interesting that, you know, the acting is fine. It's nothing special. It's not terrible, though. The uh, directing is kind of bland, but that's fine. I think the most interesting thing was the storyline, trying to figure out who is this guy that they're supposed to be protecting? What's the deal with the cure? Is there a cure or not? And there's also some deals with the uh, the guy's handler. So there's a guy, we see him alone. They probably just totally filmed him by himself. He's in his apartment and he keeps t calling the main character. And he's also dealing with the government and things like that. And sort of his role in things is kind of interesting. I will say, the very end, I did not really understand. So, it's just like 30 seconds. 
and it's a it's a scene with the main character and his wife, and I don't know what it's supposed to mean. I don't know if it was a real scene or if it was a dream. I don't know. There's also a scene where he is, it seems to be a flashback, and he's calling, trying to find his daughter. But then later on in the movie, he calls and talks to her on the phone. So the daughter is clearly alive. So I don't know what that scene is about. But those things don't really ruin the movie. It is pretty good. It's sort of the thing you just kind of set up, you turn it on. Maybe you mess around with your iPad or something. But I liked it. It was a surprise. I didn't know what it was going into it. So two thumbs up. Take the pills or die. Follow the white rabbit. No sanctuary!